Hi, it's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel, Canterbury Cottage. Today, I have a really fun video for you. I'm going to be visiting four different types of thrift stores in the St. Louis, Missouri area. And I'm going to be sharing my list of the top 10 home decor items that you should be looking for when you go thrift shopping. Afterwards, I'll show you my best purchases from each store. And I'm going to include photos of my all time best thrift store purchases. And of course, I'll be showing you the prices of everything because I'm all about creating a beautiful home on a budget. Okay, let's go thrifting. Furniture is always a great buy at a thrift store. If you're looking for something special, make sure that you bring along the measurements and a tape measure, because if you have to come back, it might be gone. Surprisingly, some thrift stores do deliver for a small fee. This cabinet was originally dark brown. You have to be able to look past the color of things but sometimes you're lucky and you just stumble across a great find like these two trunks. My family room coffee table cost $5. I think weathered leather looks better than new and it cleans up easily. I would never pay retail prices for a mirror. Thrift stores have a good selection of both vintage and newer mirrors at great prices. Sometimes I leave them as is and sometimes I paint them. I added a metal embellishment to this formerly gold mirror after I painted it white. Books are always a bargain, but some places are higher than others. I almost never pay more than $2 a book. Check out smaller thrift stores run by local churches if you're looking for beautiful vintage books or larger book sets at a great price. I started collecting classic books about 25 years ago. Every single book in my library was purchased used, most from thrift stores. Large decorative lanterns can cost over $100 in some retail stores. About 10 years ago, I started purchasing used outdoor lanterns at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. I would gut them and then use them as home decor. They have heavy, often beveled glass and a weathered patina that you can't find in a new lantern. This vintage railroad light was a lucky find. Be sure to check out your lamp before leaving the store although some thrift stores do allow you to return electronics during the first week. These brass lamps would look great painted. This wood lamp purchased at a local Goodwill was a fantastic score. Look for shapes you like. This farmhouse lamp was formerly dark brown. Every thrift store has piles of small wood decor and these are some of the best bargains that you'll find. I always keep an eye out for trays, totes, and cutting boards. Heart cutouts can be reshaped with a jigsaw or covered up with thin plywood. And wood can easily be updated with paint. I also keep a lookout for little stools and little cabinets and unusual shelves that just need a fresh coat of paint. Wicker is so popular right now, and it is so readily available at every thrift store and at a great price. I look for unusual textures and shapes, and I always check to make sure that it's in good condition and not unraveling. Do not pay retail prices for picture frames. Thrift stores abound with frames of every size, shape, and color. And sometimes you'll get lucky and find a great vintage frame. 
And like my books, nearly every frame in my house was purchased used. Thrift stores offer great prices on complete dish sets and on individual pieces. This makes it affordable to change out your dishes whenever you get tired of them. It's also a great way to pick up serving pieces that you only use on special occasions. I started buying thrifted chinoiserie about five years ago. Before that, I thrifted red and white dishes of all kinds. Candle holders were pretty scarce in the thrift stores that I visited, so they must be getting more popular with all shoppers. In fact, I didn't see even one wood candlestick. Candlesticks look great mixed in with dishware on a hutch or on top of a shelf or a mantle. Think outside the box. I love to put things on candlesticks other than candles. Okay, that was so much fun. I am back at the hotel now and I want to share with you what I consider to be my best purchases today. So the only thing that I purchased in the, in the furniture category was this little green stool, which this came from the Savers. It was $2.99, which is a little overpriced for what this is but it is a cute little green and I won't have to do anything to it and it'll just make a good staging piece. This $4 mirror was a great find. I love the shape and the patina of the wood. Okay, on to books. I'll start with this book that I got at Savers. It costs $2.99, which normally I would not pay that much for a book, but this book has some really beautiful photos in it. A different photo on every page. And so I can cut these out and frame them for wall art. And so for $2.99, with all these beautiful nature photos, that's actually a good deal for me. These books are from the little Lutheran thrift shop that I went to and they only cost 50 cents each and this one is definitely my favorite. I will not be getting rid of it. It is Minor Works of St. Teresa. It is just a very beautiful old book. All right, so I didn't go any place that had any outdoor lanterns. Usually you have to find those at a Habitat for Humanity Restore. But I did find this little candle lantern, um, $2.99 at Savers. And what I will likely do is I will take this candle completely out of it and probably put a little vase of flowers in it okay on to lamps so the lamps that i saw were either ugly or they were overpriced and but i did find one ugly lamp that i and that was this little guy and he was two dollars he was from the saint vincent de paul thrift store and what i am going to do i will probably paint this brass pot. I will definitely pull out all of this dusty greenery and pitch it. And I will probably put some fake succulents in there and maybe a prettier bulb on it. And I think it'll be really cute. And I like that it has the little switch on the cord. It'll make a nice little light maybe to go under a kitchen cabinet because it's not so it's not very tall. Okay, so the small wood decor is always, in my opinion, your best bargain at 
pretty much any thrift store that you visit. And so I've got several things to show you. I have this little, probably it was, well, I don't know. I started to say a recipe box, but it's actually too small to be a recipe box. Um, it costs a dollar. It is from the Lutheran thrift store. And as pretty as it is, I will probably repaint it and um, maybe, maybe put some fake, plants or flowers in there. I have to see. And then this wood tray, a dollar, also from the Lutheran thrift store. I decided it was really pretty with the flower cutouts and I will for sure be uh, painting and distressing this to make those, those cutouts show up even more. And then I feel like this was maybe my one of my very best purchases of the day. This was only $2 at the Lutheran thrift, thrift store. And I think this will be super cute painted. The drawer, you can't see, but it says seeds on it. So I may leave that drawer as it is and just paint the rest of it. I never know for sure what I'm gonna do until I get started and I just kind of see how it looks as I go along. The next thing is baskets. So I got this big magenta basket and it was $3.99 at Savers, which is more than I usually pay for a basket, but this is in perfect condition and it is super sturdy and it will be cute once I paint it so that it isn't magenta anymore. Best basket of all was this beauty which I got at the Lutheran thrift store for five dollars. This is going to be so cute with some tall stems uh, maybe I'll put a live plant in it, uh, or maybe I'll put fake, I'm not sure, but I won't be doing anything to the basket except cleaning it a little bit. Okay, the next thing is frames. So I did get this small frame, and it was a dollar at the Lutheran store, and I just loved this little beaded design. I think this will look fabulous painted white to make the little beads stand out even more. And then I bought this bird print for $3 at the St. Vincent thrift store. And not because of the frame, but because I just love bird prints. And I think this will be super pretty with the frame painted a different color. It does have a little bit of a design here that will look really nice once it's painted and distressed. So I didn't really need any dishes for myself and actually dishes don't sell particularly well in my retail space, but kitchen storage does sell really well and so I definitely nabbed this green canister set. This small one, only a dollar at the Goodwill, and it has a nice ceiling lid. And then the bigger one, only $2, $3 for two nice size canisters with no chips. Yeah, I'll buy that every time. I may end up painting that. I like the green, although it's not exactly the shade of green that I prefer. So I'm not sure if I'll paint it or leave it. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Do you think I should paint those canisters or leave them the original green? Another thing I didn't see a lot of was candlesticks. So what I did find was this pretty ceramic candlestick for $3 at the Goodwill. It does actually have a chip right here, but I think that I can fix that. 
And so you'll have to tune into a future video where I share some tips on how to fix damaged ceramic and pottery. I also picked up this pretty little silver candlestick. It was a dollar at the Lutheran thrift store. And I think this will look really pretty painted and distressed. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll tune in next Tuesday as I make over many of the items that you saw in today's thrift haul. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.